Hello and welcome back to the Hand of Fate. And one second, as I into the depths we go. Fix my controller there. The dead and dying. <laughs> oh, what are we fighting now? Ah, like our was it the Goblet and Scepter here? I see what we're fighting. We're fighting the Queen of Skulls. Whenever the player pushes a new item, they gain a curse. Ah. All trades have been persuaded to offer cheaper prices. God damn it all. So much death and sorrow in the world. Can you hear the winds keening in loss? Can you hear the dirges as the trees and the earth cry out in sorrow? This is the Queen of Skulls, and that is all she can hear. Well, uh... It has driven her to madness. Her touch is the promise of death, and I say to you, you were warned. Farewell. Well, that sounds like a fun existence. Wow, we have so many cards now. Few have reached the depths of the game that you have attained. They well, they're just not that too good. Too flexible, too passionate, or lacking in the necessary will. You're a wife's fury. While travelling through a small town, you are accosted by a furious woman who shouts at you from the door of a homestead. You there! You look like you can handle yourself. My husband was supposed to be home hours ago, but instead he's with his pals, drinking away all our coin. They left the spoils of their latest job here. If you go and teach him a lesson, you can take your pick. What do you say? Let's go, let's go, let's go to the cabin, where we got something to gain and it might be an interesting tale. To have. Now here, here is somebody with some sense. I would go crack his skull in myself, but our dragon cow is burping a litter. I may burn the whole plate. Whole plate. A dragon cow? What? A dra what? You find the woman's husband we meet the Jack again. and his Didn't friends. Him before. Oh no! Shuffled back into the deck to rise again to the top. As are we all. You call at the woman's husband at the local tavern. He is busy playing a drinking game with his friend. With his friend's friends. <laughs> Let's threaten him. Ooh, we have a high chance of not doing so well. So close. So close. I hear worse threats from my wife every day of the week, he scoffs. Well, he's gonna get the, uh sharp end of my axe. Ooh, I don't think I've... I don't recall this arena all too well. Okay. Ah, oh, damn it, I was parrying one attack and only to get hit by another. Oh, they really do have more health. Fuck. Okay, you, you there. Okay, right, there. That is going into rage. They have so much more health now. So much more. Why do I swing it that way? Okay, right, taking out all his friends here. Come on. Don't ruin this tavern though. As much as I'd like to say, I'll pay you back for it. Uh, I have no gold to my name. <laughs> there we go. Um, how can I tell the wife that I uh, murdered his husband? You return to the world, bringing her battered husband with you. Just drop him in the corner and take what you want from this rubbish, she says, handing you a sack. So we've got Hour of Code, Healer's Ring, or Feathered Ice. Let's, let's see what Feathered Ice does first. Uh, Blast of Ice. Or oh, Armor of Code. Let's get Blast of Ice. The armor's all good and everything, but having an extra option Having an option is better. A Dark Dweller. I am unsure where this thing springs from. 
Your path is blocked by an evil mass of tentacles and eyes. Eh, uh, I'll just get around it, I guess. Uh, that one. God. Uh, you're looking at that so long before the tentacles get the hold of you. Uh, max health, oh boy. Uh, and equipment. Ugh, oh, no, we just got that. We just, we just got that. Okay. Okay, at least we got something going for us, I guess. Ooh, scorching zeal. As pleases you. I hope we don't we'll have to, we'll have to do this card again, aren't we? Evil made flesh, but with no craft or substance. Powerful magic, but unfocused. <laughs> I'm gonna lose that zeal, aren't I? Max health again. No, sorry. wait, what? No, you're not sorry. As much as I would like to see that caverns, one low, see, see that load. Without a little delving now. Hmm. I'm actually fighting something on the exit. Uh, let's see, I recall. Oh. Hey, as long as we keep our. That was zeal. I don't really. Care that we have to fight something here. Moreover, I think I do advantage over skeletons anyway. Come on. Ooh! I just put I just gave him the left hook there. God, they got like beaks for lizard men, haven't they? Yeah, we've got some gold. More gold and for you. More gold. And with it, more problems. Nope, no, I no. Nope. This game, you know. I have merely perfected it. Good, you good for you. You to understand my innovations. Okay, so for some plague rats. Bring it on! Oh my god! Why did you throw something that close? Are you down? Oh, come on. There we go, fire's damage back up. I'll just take it on the chin, I'll just take it on the chin. <laughs> Can't be asked to do it like a triple parry. What for them? Or triple reflect even. They had nothing on them. Oh, it's a shop, so. Oh no, we get cursed. So few trade in the land of death that deals are easy to strike. I'll just leave it, leave it be. But I can't request that. Like this one. Nobly mind, or simply noble by birth. A nobleman approaches on a chariot. As you walk the streets of Segal, he notices you and comes to a stop. Greeting, mercenary. I am a collector of rare, rare weapons, and yours intrigues me. Would you part it for some. No. Disappointing, but my own fault. I suppose uh, for expecting to find a busy, savvy peasant, huh? He rides away. Now, if it, if it wasn't the fact that gold is completely useless to me, oh, I just realised what kind of curse it, I have on me. Ooh, I could go. I could go to the Goblin King's Hall, though. An expedition. Press on. Ooh, we'll, we'll do that. We'll do that. So. There's a token in it for you if you win. While well, walking by a huge tree by the lake of edge of a lake, Mr. Lionel's head appears from the leaves above. Excellent work, my lad, Mr. Lionel declares, citing the lock of he elven hair and leaping to the ground. Didn't you have to break too many bones to getting this, I trust? Never mind, I first I don't know, eh? He then calibrates the device, turns it over in his hands, turn this a bit like this, and this dog go pushes it here. Not sure what this fiddly bit here does. Ah, it's working! Mr. Lionel grasps with glee as the amulet begins to glow. 
While wavering, waving the amulet around in the air, the goblin somehow contrives to lead you on a haphazardous hap journey across hills and across rivers, until finally you come across a trap door hidden by foliage under an ancient tree. Through the doorway, you see a stone chamber and hear a variety of strange mechanical noises. For eons I have waited for an appropriate player. It seems there are more eons ahead. Yes, I knew it would be kind of to wait even longer now. There may be some traps. Kings can never be too careful when guarding their treasures. Hmm? I'm sure I mentioned them earlier. Ugh, I don't think you did. Don't think you did. Now get in there and steal 50 gold pieces for me. I'll hold your gold until you get out and meet you on the other side. Good luck. I have a firm boot to your backside. Lionel send you tumbling through the trap door. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Awesome. Okay, this is uh new. Okay, so it looks like we are just walking to the end. Ah, trap spikes. Okay, dodge roll, dodge roll, dodge roll. Oh, okay, okay. Did not see them all too well. Oh, ow. Okay, good here. Is that the exit? Yeah, we made it. And only two arrows in our bodies. It's fine. Mr. Lionel immediately greets you upon your escape. Lifting your bag of gold before you even realise he's even there, he counts out the coins you managed to retrieve. Uh, not really, not nearly enough. I want my revenge. Get back in there and get me my gold. Oh, we got a health. Oh, we went to. Um, like, oh, there's gold there. Oh, I see. Didn't know we had to pick stuff off. There we go. Wait for that. That was looking okay. Oh, I think these would have it in them, wouldn't you? Oh, okay. Yeah, so we have to do this repeatedly, I guess. Oh boy. Yeah, we might as well finish this off. Don't want to finish. As long as we get healed after each attempt, I don't really mind having to do this repeatedly. Huh. Also, there isn't anything here. Yeah, there isn't anything here. And we can't break through these walls. Oh, okay. Hi, spinning things. Got stuck there. Yeah, that's the only gold in this run. Oh, not too happy about the gold drop here. Oh boy, yeah, we're gonna hear it. be here for a while. We need to get what fifty gold. Oh, well, here we go again. Have a deep breath. You turn back in. Oh, okay, fire, fire. Very dangerous fire there. At least there's more gold in this run. Now we're just dealing, we'll just tough it out. And uh, yeah, I'm guessing until we get 50 gold, that. Yeah, until we get 50 gold, I think we just have to keep repeatedly, repeatedly doing this, so... Yeah, yeah. Well, look, it'll, as he, like I said, so he keeps healing us. Don't know what happens on the last attempt. Of not having... Hang on. Yeah, I wonder how it's on the last attempt where we get all the gold. Does that he still heal us? I'm gonna be just take care and... Take care and not try. I try not to take damage. No, we just have to. Oi, this. Ah, okay. Never mind. We'll try to reduce the amount of damage we take, though. 
Haha. <laughs> Aha. Got him. There we go. Wow, we got a significant amount of gold in that run. Yeah, first one I did help out, I was just trying to run past the traps, I guess. But still, uh, class going to be not bad, not bad at all, he says happily. I'll eat these later. For now, good work, my boy. Let's get over here before the Goblin King discovers what's what. Here's your gold back. Sorry if it smells like old cheese now. Another token uh. brings you closer to your goals. Oh, you know, let's keep the gold? Ah, oh, sucks. Yeah, uh, you get healed. Work your way that through the woods and see what lies beyond. Alicia in the underworld. Oh, I haven't had an underworld card for a while, come to think of it. As you attempt to discover more about the ha uh, bizarre portal you encountered, one name keeps reoccurring, a mystic named Alicia. Apparently her expertise on all aspects of shadow realms, interdimensional travel and beasts of the void is unparalleled. Wow, oh, that's small text there. You track Alicia's caravan, she travels under the guise of a fortune teller. Her appearance doesn't match the whispers about her. She is considerably shorter and has much more of a beard. She audibly hears your throat before speaking to you. Welcome, stranger. She recalls in mock blindness. The dark clouds of fate swirl around you in a tempest. For a little gold, I could help you see your future through the storm. Yeah, sure, why not? Okay. <laughs> that one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the mystic's eyes flash wide open. You, your fortune is awash with death and destruction. There is also hope. You carry fortune's favor with you. How may I aid you in your endeavors? So, with such a powerful aura as yours, I could tell you what I know. The price of such as information though would would be high. Uh, sadly, I see that you have nothing I desire, no mag powerful magical artifacts. Perhaps if you returned with one, I would be more forthcoming. Hmm. Does that mean we have to do the entire... Um... It must be nice to be unpredictable. I am as bound by the rules I've written as you are. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder if we have to do that... Uh, get, like, pay free gold, see if we can get it right. Let's see, okay. A choice. Select your desire. Cool, cool. Yeah, Guardian Angel. Not bad. Useful. Yeah. <laughs> Just in time. <laughs> okay, let's keep an eye out on that card. That one? Nope. Okay. Ah, take the damage. Five health. Max. Nope. We lost a helmet. Bye. I'm not going back. Not going back while I lost it. Oh, this going. Nothing but the sounds of mourning. She is close. And we are not ready to fight her. Ooh, a treasure chest. A treasure chest. Yes, exactly. What more iconic emblem of success could we imagine? An open treasure chest where we see all the goodies, I guess? While exploring a dungeon, you see a treasure chest at the end of a hall. The chest may hold great wealth, but the chamber may be trapped. Let's approach it. Yeah, okay, let's go. We got a success. The hall is silent as you move forward. You approach the treasure chest. A challenge for you, and a token if you succeed. The treasure chest looks battered, but still intact. What treasure might it hold? Well, this is quite a high chance of success here. Uh, this one? Nope. Wow, we failed on a. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Okay, these two succeeded. With a mighty heave, the lock gives way and the spoils are yours. Wow, 40 gold. One equipment. I'm 
sure you are grateful for that. Yeah. It's all right, but we're not fighting lizard men at the moment, are we? But here's a shot. A permanent discount for those willing to endure the local color. <laughs> uh, that's <laughs> that's a good one. Okay. Problem is, if we buy something. Oh, what? What is my current weapon? Hang on. Can I find out? Work inventory button. There we go. Uh, I've got a holy weapon. Okay. Yeah, let's leave. There's nothing in there that I wanted to buy. I'll probably want to get the undead spade, but oh, uh, we got a the cities hold no holy weapon, like so. To be found in the wilderness on a still and moonless night. Alright, I was not listening to you, but the culling of the rat men sound interesting. Now. All the lands in the Canaan have been overrun with rat men. Merchants in my lands are attacked on the road and so are any travellers such as yourself. My guards are needed here. With me, but if I had 50 gold, I would hire a mercenary army to find their nests and call their numbers. Hey, okay, have some money. A wise decision. I shall begin a campaign against the filthy rats immediately. Also, you may take this blade. With my mercenary army, I won't rely on it to, to protect me. A rat cleaver. Ooh. Rats have so few friends amongst mankind. Yet the two have lived in close proximity throughout the ages and are more similar than either would care to admit. <laughs> oh, that just reminded me of an anime. Uh, mm, I can't remember what the damn show's called though. I'm gonna make an excuse for we we don't want to be saddled with a burden. Uh, let's give him 20 gold. And uh, we're teleported. Oh, good god damn it. Lee. Okay. We are low on food, but conveniently there's a shop here, so. I am not surprised they have difficulty selling their wares here. Oh, yeah, they have the legions of undead behind their backs. You must be relieved. Oh, we don't get cursed, is what I'm hoping. Okay, that's a bit more food than we need, but... Okay, don't get cursed, but... We've got food now, so we should be able to explore this last remaining bit. The Holy Forge. A brotherhood of peace in the service of war. On a dusty, lonely plain. Okay, <laughs> on a dusty, lonely plain, you come across the shattered remains of an old monastery. Searching the building, you meet an old man dressed in dirty robes. Long ago, we of the Brotherhood forged holy weapons to support the war against the infidels. But the infidels were strong and one day, one of their raiding parties took us by surprise. They destroyed most of our tools and took our supplies, including all the rare metal ore that we used to craft our weapons. The king's armies never returned after that day. I know not what became of them in the years that followed. I have stayed here all these years, but only the ghost remains to keep me company. Then all the others who survived the attack left long ago. Yeah, we don't have uh, any the metal ore for you. I sleep at the inn. What sort of scoundrel would go through a sleeping man's belongings? Apparently this bandit. While sleeping at the inn, you jolt awake to find a bandit rifling through your belongings. You are awake, you are quick to your feet, weapon at the ready. The bandit laughs, clearly drunk. Easy there, princess. Spare an apple, would you? That's a good lad. He's unsteady, clutching a stolen apple and some coins. You grab his arm in protest and earn a punch to the face. <laughs> Looks like Nancy wants a fight. The bandit laughs again, spits at your feet and turns to leave. The bandit looks at you with content, thought so. He wanders out of the room, whistling tunelessly to himself. Ah, damn it. Oh, well, we didn't lose too much. Nasty. You are still yourself. I need... I need fear no longer. It's pale... Uh, well, hang on, I, don't, I missed a bit, I didn't, didn't I? It's pale hands reached for yours, and you suddenly recall a laugh. A laugh to go with those smiling eyes. 
I have lingered too long in this place, it drains so. Do not forget me. You blink and the ghost is gone. Those eyes, gone. And now the token is ours. Okay, let's head left. Oh, no, I thought, I thought you dealt with these rat men. Oh god, there's six of them. Very well, we shall beat them up. Burn them all! Come on. You know, you attacking me there. Oh no, nope, don't want to dodge cancel all that. How the hell did that other one die? Yeah, that top left, right one there, how the hell did he die? Either way. Yeah, the queen. Oh, I didn't read the text. Face death and learn your fate. God damn it! You uncovered the queen of skulls. I feel sad now. Didn't read the. Didn't read the lore. Lore of skulls. Where are we now? This is the new place. Uh. <laughs> you have a rifle. Fun. Oh, if I recall, she had that total of hers. Like constantly spawns new. Come on, you just need to get to her because that thing constantly. Is she down? Can she down? Yeah, let's destroy this. There we go. Okay, let's take her the rifleman first. I think she's down. Oh wait, there's skeletons attacking from behind. Okay. Okay, cancel that. Burn ghosts, not ghost skeletons. Um. Oh okay, wait, there we go. I was like, I beat them all. Oh yeah, we need to head to the card for this time round. And obtain the Queen of Skulls. Then it is done. It is. When truly is. When as haunting as the Queen of Skulls perishes, we know the game is almost done. The kings are gathering now. Do you see now what I have built? How elegantly all the pieces fit. They truly are elegant in the way they fit together. And for going to the tavern to retrieve the woman's husband, you receive a tavern wager. <laughs> For helping Mr. Lionel with his quest, you receive the Goblin King's Halls 3. For plundering a locked lock treasure chest, you receive draw two cards and a fool's gold. For calling the rat men, rat men hunting is unlocked and you received the rat cleaver. The rat cleaver looks like it's too and I'm going to do it to a lot of damage, so for encountering the ghost again you received food and spirit walk. For defeating my skeleton queen you receive the queen of plague and the lizard dome. And lastly for defeating my skeleton queen you have received arrow cutter and mortal whimsy. But sadly, we won't be playing that round <laughs> right now, so that does it for this episode for The Hand of Fate. I have been your host, Tin Man, and I'm signing off. Goodbye.